recording. All right. So. Okay. So evaluate, right? I'm happy that I did the same thing here. So that's yeah. fine. And not that that is stupid. Yeah. Or maybe we are all stupid. Who knows? Look up. What does look up do? It picks. Uh, oh, key. I think the name is quite suggestive. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> <laughs> Just check. So okay, look up for the value. Oh, I think the alias. I think then that uh, that this is just an alias, right? Yeah, I think I think so. Uh... Nothing. Okay, next. Uh, next function. Okay. Next expression. We have abstraction, application, and the other new ones. Let's start with Let's the do... abstraction, I guess. Yeah, abstraction, I think, is the best one. So, I'm sorry, by the way, I'm typing in my blanket, so. Yeah, that's don't fine. ask me. <laughs> no, don't cool. ask questions. <laughs> don't ask questions. I, I, I became a pro man and typing like this. Uh, what is on the abstraction? Ty text, I think it's the variable, right? Uh, it's the variable itself, then the type he holds, and then the expression itself. Yeah. So label, uh, type, whatever. Oh, type is a word. Type, type yeah. prime. Type prime. Um, <laughs> and then we and have body. the the body. Yeah. So okay. we need to we need to put the lab we need to put the label into the environment as far as I remember. Is that correct? Yeah, we need to insert the label with its type in there. I think we can ignore the type here, can we? Yeah, I, I'm not certain about that, but what do you... No, no, you're not using, you're not using your camo, camo stylish of for names, man. I'm sorry. We can <laughs> ignore the type, okay. Uh, okay, so just put uh, underscore there instead of type prime because we can ignore yeah. the type. So it's easy. We just have to add the label to the environment. And right? evolve the body. And evolve the body. So I just, uh, one function that we need to, uh, which is map something. Oh, we can use it, apparently, like this. Oh, OK. OK, so what is it, map? Yeah, we need to discover, go to data. I'm, I'm, I am going to the documentation here to find which function insert. OK, insert. Uh, okay, so key, well, key, so that should be the label. Yeah, yeah, that mm -hmm. should be the label. The value of the label, I'm not certain, though. Yeah, this is wrong, actually. This is wrong. Dude, I forgot everything, what the heck. <laughs> Man, just return a closure. What do you mean? Yeah, return... we just, re okay. oh, yes, 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 that's true. Like, if it's an abstraction, we just return a closure. Like we don't need to do anything. We don't even have to evaluate the body. I'm I'm confused. No, because it's gonna be on the closure. Oh, like we're gonna the... just pass that through. Okay, so you're gonna yeah. do. Because you... like we don't have anything to evolve on the body. We don't have a variable bond to this value. That's why I was thinking the map was strange. Wait, but what is this label then? Oh, because... it's just the name of the variable. Yeah, this is the name oh, of the okay. variable that. Body, right? Sorry, it's just that I, I use an Apple mouse, so <laughs> I, I I have like a. I don't oh. know the meme. Wait, we don't have a closure. No, no, oh, it's a do. value, right? Yeah, so yeah. Your microphone push. starts to clip a lot. Maybe it's the position. Oh, now it's okay. Now it's much better. Yeah, really. I was talking in the front. Yeah, but uh. Non label. Can you can you try to help me? I am confused. Like uh, on the body, like here's the thing. These were just like, this is just a loose abstraction, right? So it says if we're doing something like this. Oopsie. X is the label, this. correct? And yes, the, the, the X, X is the label. After, before the arrow, I mean. Let's just put the type here. Yeah, here. exactly. So and this is just a loose abstraction. Yeah, but the X before the arrow is the label, and the X after the arrow is the body, correct? Yes. We're going to just transform that to a closure. Yes, because okay. we don't need to evolve this, right? Because we're thinking of evaluating the body. But, like, we don't have a variable. Like, we, if we had, in the context, uh, this X bond to something, like 2, 
Mm -hmm. Then it would make sense to evolve, but that's an application. That's oh, not that's uh, why I'm, I mean, uh, why I'm confused. Okay, so if v closure label, uh, no, now it's type. Prime. We need the type now prime. We need the type. We need the type yeah. prime. I guess. Then uh, body, um, and then the environment, the which we're receiving there. Mm -hmm. And then we need to add uh, wrap all of that into a peer, a peer uh, dollar. And that's it. Okay. Okay, next. So literally one line. Can we, dude, let's just do this because. Yeah, that's fine also. Starting to look like Erlang. Uh, no, okay, dude, so the next impossible. one is an application. Yeah. So what Oops. is an application? Oh, I have that. I have that now. <laughs> anyway, so e application. There it is. So what does an application get? It's just an expression and another expression. Makes sense. So left and right. Yeah. Actually, let's just put ABS so we know it's an abstraction. Not necessarily, right? You can be a variable that represents the function. Uh, let's just do foo. Foo is reserved? No. No. Okay. Uh, you just do this, I guess, right? Oops. Do this. Should love this, I guess, right? Oh man, what the heck? I'm mistyping everything. Wait, wait, wait. No, 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 man. I mean, no, we are better matching. This is better matching. No, yeah, I'm just saying like foo is not a keyword because you use this instead, right? Oh yeah, we use the lambda calculus based one. Foom, Elitists. Uh and then uh, the other expression are the arguments, so is this correct? Yeah. Yeah. Then so this, and then on that, now we need to do the trick of adding the arg to the environment and then passing the environment to the body and evaluating the body. I think that's it. Anatta can punch me if I'm wrong. Will Haskell evaluation strategy play a, play a role here? Uh, I'm actually not certain. We're going to discover that pretty quickly. Ooh. O on if the function or argument will be evaluated first. Uh... Mm -hmm. But here's one question, like, we should have two things on the argument, like insert k, which yeah, is by a key. key. Yeah, but we're inserting what? Yeah, that's what I'm having a problem, right? Because is that thing, okay, so we might, okay, I think it, the argument is like a literal. Is that correct? No, it can be anything. It can actually. be anything. Oh, we're going to evolve right. it, and then we're going to... Gonna... Yes. <laughs> so, evolve a <laughs> arg. Yeah. Uh, okay. I, I. We can't pipe, I guess. Yeah, you can do, you do notation in this pipe. case. But how do we pass a thing to another? Easy. Wait, wait. What do you want to do? You want to get the result like, out of this, right? Yes, how do I apply a, a series of a chain of functions together? Yeah, like let's do, do notation. Oh, okay. Do, do. then uh, put the name and then arrow to the left. Okay, so what should be the name? Uh, evaluated. Uh, evaluated. Arc, arc. Yeah. How, what's the rule of casing in Haskell? Uh, camo case. Okay, so I'm going to go against it. No, 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 not okay. equal. Uh, arrow to the left. Oh, arrow. Yeah. Okay, okay it's a special for the do, right? Yeah, so what this means? This means that if we do not short circuit, evaluated arg is already a right value. Like, a right in the sense of the either, right? Oh, my God. The right in the sense of the either. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, I get it. Because, oh, right. Yeah, so what, something that we can do is to pattern match right now. So what do we do... What are dude? Teach me the the oh, what's the fuck? Teach me the the things. Like what is this? Let me see. I think I see this. What is this? This is F map, but in fixed. Okay. What is what else? Now oh, this one I know. Yeah. Uh, Whoa, what else? Another one. Uh, greater greater than greater this, than. This. This is, is applicative? applicative. Yeah. Okay. Uh, uh, greater than greater than. This is also no oh. no. Greater Gre than, two lesser. Times. No, no, no. Greater, oh. greater. 
Greater, greater. Yeah, this, this is a bind, but you are ignoring the result. Oh, okay. That's not com com composition is this, I guess. Yes. This is bind. This is bind, but you are ignoring the the result. So let's suppose that oh, right. before right. the bind, like you are do. doing some IO stuff. And like you want to ignore. ignore. Exactly. Do okay. ignore. Okay. And then if you it's add like the equal, this is going to be at the bind. Okay. Uh, let me okay. read what Nathan is talking about. Check if the function is a function indeed, a closure or native function, to actually evaluate if all the body of the closure. Yeah, we need to check what is the result of this thing and if it, the fun okay. is something that actually receives, right? Okay, okay. Let's but anyway, let's, let's go back to what we're doing. So you're going to do evolve env arg and then before that, arrow to the left. Arrow to arrow? the left. Yeah. Arrow to the arrow, left. Okay. Yeah. This. No, no, no. Arrow, I mean, less than dash. And then you're going to put a than name. Less than dash. Dash. Oh, dash. Yeah. And then you're going to put a name before the arrow. Okay, just the name. And then okay. right, we're going to parameter right now. So it's going to be right, evaluated. Right. Yes, right. Uh, right. Right, evaluated arc. Evaluated arc. Okay. Then we can ah. do a better matching on this guy. Man, I'm going to change everything case. to camel case after. Anyway. <laughs> then you're going to do case off. Case evaluated arg off. Yes. Okay. Then we're going to try. We, now we need to. What Nathan said? We need to check if. Uh, if this is a function or a variable, no, yes. But then we should do the fun first, right? We are doing the arg first, if I'm understanding well, correctly. Okay, yes, okay, makes sense. Yeah, like so this thing, yeah. The yeah, argument so doesn't matter, I guess, so we should do the function. Yeah, so just replace string after, yeah, that. Yeah, let's just copy this. Okay. Okay. Yeah, okay, so if, just you to understand, if evolve and fun, fails we never gonna see the what is happening on the left okay and we're not gonna continue okay. by the way it's gonna short circuit automatically to left and then we're mm -hmm. done but if it succeeds then we are better matching uh, uh, um, well uh, on the left part we are better matching extracting the right shell and then getting the the, the value inside okay so, so one thing, like we have all the thing, and then if it's a closure, then that's something, or a native func, I think we can yeah. also do that. Yeah. If it's a closure or a native func, then. Yeah, uh, okay, makes sense. Okay. So, evaluated. Yeah, and I'm suggesting to change the name from evaluated fun to fun value. Okay, fun value, it's fun. <laughs> fun. Let's do this. Anyway, now uh, we need to pattern match. We need to pattern match the fun value to see if it's a closure or native function, as far as understood. Mm -hmm. So let's do fun value because it's fun. Yeah. And then we check if it's a closure. Yes. A value closure with the label. The. Uh, we could. The label, the yeah, type let's prime. Not Type prime. Type prime, and then in a, a, an body. a body, an environment. Env. Closed env, that's a good name. Uh, how is the, the thing on pattern matching this? Yes. The arrow to the, to the right. Can I do this? Let's yes. do this. Then, okay, so if it is a closure, what should we do? So if it is a closure, we, well, we already evolved the arg, so we just apply it, like bind the thing to the closed environment. Like you put the, the, the thing, the argument that we got, the arg value mm -hmm. on the environment with the label. Oh, okay. So it's a map. And then we dying. evolve. Mm -hmm. So that would be... <laughs> wait, wait, see. wait. Let's stop for a moment. Manatan mm -hmm. is saying that uh, closure shouldn't have a type. And I think that makes sense because we're doing lambda calculus. Uh, and I don't remember having a type in the closure. Do you remember I don't that as well, but I think no, that was not. But a closure. 
Yeah, I don't think that makes a, lot, a bunch of sense, by the way. Mm -mm. Line 20 there, right? Yeah, line, line 20, and then we would have to also change the Evo abstraction. Wait, Not... it didn't work? What to me? Oh, it did. Okay. Just testing my... You don't have types at runtime. Yeah. I think that we should drop the type on the line, on line 21 of the closure. Because I yeah. think we are okay. only using label. Yeah, it only makes sense to have the environment, the tech, the closed environment, the label, and the expression. No, the abstraction, I think it yeah, does Yeah, abstraction have. we leave, yes. Yeah. Uh -huh. And then okay, on so line just 21. Drop it here. Yes, we drop it there and removed from there. Nice. Okay, so if it is a closure, we're just going to do a map.insert, label, evolve body. So let me remind myself the, the things here. So K, the key, so it's label. Yeah. A, it's going to be the evaluated value of the body, I guess. Um, yes, evaluate. Actually, no, it's the arg value, right? Oh, my bad. It's the arg value. My bad, my bad. And then the next thing is the map. So yeah. the map is Which one the... it is? <laughs> so I remember I we merged. <laughs> I remember we merged the closed thing and but the only difference Nathan is saying closed environment. Oh no, that makes sense. That makes sense. Do you yeah, know why? The, the closed environment already derives from the, the other environment, so that's right. Yeah. Close Dave. Alright, so from this wait, thing, wait, wait. I... Okay. Uh, now, we need to call this a thing. This is a new environment, correct? Yeah. Okay, so go to the beginning of the line, and you're going to do let uh, new, new env equals this. So the let only works inside this? Uh, what, no. what is the case for using let here? You can use lets in do blocks. You can use lets if you're using the let in also. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, they're, they're, these are the only two cases that I ever use let. I am inside okay. a do block or I am uh, I am doing let in. Okay. And which we're going to do right now. Because now we're going to do in, right? Mm -hmm. So, oh, it has the keyword in. I was just guessing. Yeah, in. So um, the, now we we get the body down there, and then we send that thing to be evaluated again. So evolve. Yes. Uh, evolve new env mm -hmm. uh, body. Yeah. So evolve new env body. That's it. Yeah. What is he complaining? Yeah, it's here, complaining man? about something. Let's check. Couldn't expect value. Blah blah blah. Either. Couldn't match expected type value with. I either a zero value in pattern One right. One sec. Let me think a bit. It is complaining. Couldn't match expected type value with actual type either a zero value. Yeah, the, the warnings about pattern match and non exhaustiveness are those right, right? Yeah, they are right. Uh, they are right, <laughs> not the. I'm not. I, I, I'm having it uh, because when Haskell starts putting the A zeros, I have to think a little bit more. Couldn't match expected type of value. The expected the expected value of a vol is result, and as far as I can tell, yeah. result is just a label, right? Yeah. Just a renaming. Yeah, yeah, yeah. just a rename. If you have the denotation, why the name right there? Because I, I can explain why. Because the, the return of evolve is an either, right? And okay. it, which means that the value before the arrow to the left, it's going to be a either value. No, not an either value. Sorry. You're right, Nathan. Just remove the right. Okay, I thought that was strange, but... No, no, no. I, I am being dumb. This is automatically done. I don't ha we don't have to do anything. Okay. I this like is that. part of the syntax sugar. Quite pragmatic. Uh, okay. So, don't now, I need to return anything? Just this. Uh, they need to do no, like no, no. return. We need to do. We need to pattern match another thing if it's a native function. 
No, I know, but like this case here, do I need to do return? No, this, you or don't just because, nested expression? No, you don't because evolve already returns the the return type. Okay. If you do return, you go it's basically pure, so it's gonna wrap the thing. So remind me what are these values in the native function? Uh, I have no, I, I have no memory. I think that. I, I think the first one is the argument it receives, and the second is the body, like the the the, the thing to evaluate, right? The I don't know the function that interrupts with Haskell, as far as I know. Uh, check if Natan is saying something. Natan is saying that this is wrong. <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, because if function. you think about it, an, a native function should be a function that picks whatever amount. Wait, am I confused? Yeah, like from what yeah, we were doing. Yeah, it is a function, doing... a value to a value. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, like this, this, and then you pick this, right? That's why I uh, understood. Yeah, that that is correct indeed, but. Uh... Like I don't know, this, this, all, whatever. All of our native functions works. are binary functions, correct? I think yes. Okay, so we can change line twenty-four to instead of being a, a native function. Actually, we value, can do more. We can do more with currying, I guess, right? Yeah, we can do. Yeah, we can do a anything with currying. The same I guess. way we're doing with abstraction. So all native functions have only one parameter. Yeah, so we are using currying all the time. Anyway, so go to line twenty-four, and you're gonna okay. change from native function value value to native function value like in parentheses value arrow value. This is a function. Yeah, yeah, but wrap both of them inside of Oh, parentheses. between parentheses. Yeah. I get it. So you just want to receive a function that does that already. Yeah. Okay. So actually, the, the native function instead of value, value, it's just fun. Again, more fun. <laughs> fun. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, so what... What does that mean? That means oh, we just that have we to now... pass the arc value. Yes. Okay. Uh, which is already evaluated. Yeah, this is yes, already sir. a value. Arc value is already a value. Yeah, this is fun. But we need to wrap now, right? Because yeah, this is not... Oh, know. this is inside a do. So I don't think we need to do right here, right? No, you don't have to. Right. No, you're going to have to do pure. Right, right. You're going to have to do pure. Pure, dollar, pure. fun. <laughs> okay, I get it. I get it. I understand it. And then arg value so, there, I guess. Whoops, it's arg value. This. Hey, I'm not is sure about that. All? that. What is this? Non exhaustive? Okay, non exhaustiveness. I forgot we, this was a thing. So if it's something else, then we can <sighs> Should return. Should native functions return result value? No, no, no. The Because it could fail, right? No, no, no. But the native function. Oh, you mean the native function failing? Mm -hmm. Ooh. Yeah. That's an interesting one. I don't think so, because we have control of the native functions, right? We know if it's going to oh. fail or not. Right? We're going to implement the... Yeah, we're not thinking of failing. We're thinking of failing exclusively on the implementation of the thing, of the function, right? It can fail on the arg, but then it would fail here. Wait, can you repeat that, Maget? Like, we're, we're only thinking of evaluating... This thing, like atomic entities, so like the this, this, an application, like those things, right? Like, so if it fails, the only thing that can fail, if our language is not wrong, <laughs> is the argument. Like the native function, I don't think it makes sense to be to return no, no. a result. Uh, I'm confused about Nata. Some native functions to do file stuff can fail. Oh, if no, you have a native function that okay, can fail by but nature. Then it's the yeah, so but, but that's the distinction I'm saying. Like that's the usage, right? Yeah, that's the usage. I I agree with my get in this case. Anyway, we can change this later. For now, it's fine, I guess. Okay, but I see the issue. Like it's going to be the same because it's gonna mess with the abstraction because there are some native functions that now return like a result how and some we, how that do we... not. How did we? Oh, we didn't tackle this because we don't, didn't have time. Oh, but wait, no, 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 but dude, but wait, like then if that happens, the return of the thing should already be a result. So I don't think it matters. 
Oh, but the type will not be here. Oh, yeah, no, it will it will fail. We need to do exceptions for that probably. Exceptions or like you go purity. Wait. Shit. Uh shouldn't we uh, wait. We should do dynamic Change the result of the function inside native function. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Instead of doing a native function being a value to a value, we can make it be a value to a result value. Do you agree with that, Mageta? Well, yes, but then like a plus would be a result, would be that as well. Is that yeah, okay? no, a plus could fail. If you try to do... Well, we need to, we need to make a decision. Or we in, we well, it shouldn't right? <laughs> like, but like is it division, division, division yeah, is better. Di no, division is a good example, but we also have what Nathan said. Let's suppose that you have IO native functions. Yeah, I get it. Like text reading. Yeah, exactly. Text from Which file means that I agree. So let's go to line twenty-three uh, plus and change instead of value to value, it's going to be a value to result, and you remove the pure. Uh, okay, like. I think it would be better revisiting this later and making exceptions, but that's fine. That's so far in the future, you don't understand. Yes, I know it's far. <laughs> so result. And then you change your, to remove the pure. I just have a problem here because what is result wrapping? Result is just a label that you made here for... Okay, result is already value, okay. So yeah, but it can fine. fail because it has a... It's, it yeah. isn't either. Okay. Oh, what the heck? All right. Okay. So, so if it is something else, then we just return left. Yes. And then you just put the error message there. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so. <if I'm... laughs> That's the problem. Man. Why are you laughing? I don't understand it. I do not understand your laughter. I'm laughing at not this comment, but come on. <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Let's do Let's do it. Yeah, man. Oh, that just goes so great. Let's see. Uh, could not reduce expression. Uh, should I? How do I? Add a thing here because I want to add the function, but maybe it's not a good idea. Oh, uh, there is a way yeah, to do that. But let's just do could not reduce. I never remember. Could not reduce fun function part. Ex could not reduce uh, expression to function. That's fine. Yeah. Use you try to apply expression. something that is not a function. Okay. That's yeah. also fine. Yeah, okay. You tried. To apply. No, let's not use personal things. Yeah. Failed attempting. Oh. To formal stuff. Apply. <laughs> yeah, you gotta be formal, man. <laughs> to apply. Uh, failed attempting to apply. <laughs> you gotta be like .NET level of typing that you, you read something. <laughs> it's like a reference of an object was not found or something like this. Uh, failed attempting, attempting to, apply to apply a known function value. Uh, a known function value. The later on, I can I can. Oh wait, add that's the... that's misleading. Apply failed attempting to apply a value to. to uh, I don't want to say object because I'm boycotting the word. Unknown function. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> to something <laughs> that is not a known function. No. Uh, yeah. Okay. Reducible oh to my God. a function. <laughs> Reducible, is this a word? I, I have no idea word. at all. I have no idea. Whatsoever. Let, let's see. <laughs> let's see. Reducible. Let's see. Yeah, fail the Reducible. To apply a it value is. To something that let's is not a function. Let's do that. That's to something that is not a function. That is not. Yeah, okay. That is not a function. That's better than doing reducible. <laughs> not a function. Right. Okay, done. Exactly. Okay, next. Uh, oh, now uh, are the new ones. Okay, I have no idea now. Yeah. Let me see those types. I don't remember the explanation. Let me see. E type instruction and E type application. Yeah, this is for the for alls stuff. Oh, yes, I remember now. Okay. 
I'm so sad Nathan can talk right now, but okay. Uh, okay, so let's do it then. So Evolve, same stuff. Evolve, Aimv, and then Pattern Match. Mm, yeah. And type Abstraction. Ah, this pisses me off so much, man, that we do this and then it completes like on the next line. That's just so disturbing. Uh, evolve, Aimv. Uh, Aimv. Uh, e type. E type Abstraction. Uh, yeah, let's do abstraction. Abstraction. XPR. No, 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 it's a type. Oh, it's text. a text, which I, I'm assuming it's a label, yeah? And then we have a body, a body or something like that. So, what can, should we do here, Nathan? Nathan, I, can I you send no on idea. the chat the example that you used to explain to me the type abstraction? I remember having for all and stuff like that. Yeah, send it here and then I will paste. I think I think we <laughs> I think we did Probably it's so a little so bit less things. than half an hour we did already <laughs> spoon but okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's just said if you just really said. I would suggest you think about it. Oh, we don't have conditions and and the Yeah, we still don't have conditions. Let's so just start it here already. Yeah, after variable, after variable, yeah, can be whatever word. E, condition, condition. expression, um, expression, 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 right? Three expressions. Yes, sir. Let's make this one first. We already have it's those. Easier. Yeah. So, mm -mm -mm. but it doesn't evolve to anything, right? Not a value, like no, it's end. not. No, it's not gonna. It's gonna evolve to something that already exists, or a literal. Yes, or which is literal. like any of those values. Yes. Yeah. So after the abstraction, or after the application, I don't know. Add a new line there. Fun A. Fun. Are you sure it's fun A and not for all A? Not. To. No, oh, then is a keyword. Else branch and bra else is also. Okay, so we need to evolve the cont first. So evolve. Let's use the do thing. Yeah, the do thing is useful in this case. Okay, and then we do a test. Yeah. I hope it's not arrow, okay. arrow to the left. Uh, and evolve. evolve. Uh, Inv. Con, uh, Inv con, yes. Con. Then con. change. Wait, wait. What? Okay. Let's just try to load like con B and a bunch of stuff. Then case. Uh, you're gonna do case test off. And then if it, it, it needs, needs to, to be, be one specific literal. If it's not, we have a problem. Oh, nice. So then yes. you're gonna do now uh, V so literal. V Literal parenthesis and then pattern match again. Yes. The value elbow doesn't matter, just the syntax. Could you explain a little bit better to me what you mean by that, Nata? Just an example. Is it true? Is it true or is it false? Like this, right? It is true, true with capital T. Oh, that's lovely. I love it. No, 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 but wait, we are doing it wrong. Hmm. Instead of what? V literal L bool true, just put true with non capital, like put just bool with the cap, like bool. V literal li L bool bool. Because we're gonna do the if inside <laughs> now. You know what I mean? What? Uh, I was just going to do this and then we do false. Yeah, but we can do it in one single block. We don't have to have two branches just for that. Oh, right. Okay, got it. But you need to change the name of true to something with non-capital letter. Then you can do if b. Just do this. Yeah. Uh, and then you want to do this. If right? b, e then evolve. Just do else. <laughs> <laughs> Man, every time not the uh, no not the Mageta is having a trouble with something. He's, he seems he sounds, sounds like a snake, man. Like preparing to attack, like it's so weird. 
<laughs> I just get pissed, man. Okay, okay so evolve, we can... Aim, uh, then branch. Evolve, aim, then branch. So this is kind of... Well, the, the if is lazy, right? Uh, evolve, aim, else. I don't know. Branch. I think the if can't be lazy because you need to know Well, where it's always go. lazy. No, but it's always lazy. Um, then and this. Oh, in this case, like if yes. you evolve, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then, if you have something problematic in the unless end. you go dumb, then <laughs> you evolve. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you do that? I don't know, but anyway. Okay, now you're gonna do a left. So, expression um, on receive test expression on condition expressions better condition mm -hmm. expression. Receive the type uh, and a value with the previous type. Received a type. Re not a type, let's avoid that. Because it looks like type checking. Uh, receive could not be, I infer, could not be evaluated to Received a Boolean type. expression. Not evaluated to a Boolean. Nathan, I still have I'm having a trouble understanding what you mean, man. I'm sorry. Maybe I'm tired. I don't know. Maybe I'm too dumb to understand. Better matching non exhaustive. What is non exhaustive here, man? Uh no, this is complaining about the evolve. Why? Because we don't have all the evolves yet. We have we are Oh okay, it's complaining about this, right? The function itself. Yeah. Okay. Uh, okay. But it could be a waste of computation. What do you mean by a waste of computation, man? If it's lazy, we're never gonna compute the else. If we were doing that before, by the way. About the if. Oh, in Haskell? In Haskell, yeah. Yeah, but I, I, can you read what Nathan is saying, Magetta? I don't understand it, man. If both branches uh, are pure... If it's pure, doesn't matter really, but anyway. could be a waste of computation. About if, oh, if both okay, branches are pure, yeah, okay, it can that's, evolve that's in true. any way. Yeah, that's true. If both, if both branches, branches are, are of the if condition is, are true, oh, yeah, it doesn't really matter. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I'm sure. Sure, but now, he said something before. There would be a useful to do the the do notation plus better matching. I I want an example of that. Uh, maybe I'm just not not understanding with this explanation. I don't know. Uh, in the meantime, let's try to think about the E type abstraction. Okay, so, so Nathan said an example saying that you have a fun A that returns another fun mm -hmm. and that fun is receiving a B which has the type A which was we which we received before. Oh right, I remember that. So it is something like So it's something like fun, right? Let me just see. So fun, fun A A and then arrow, fun B, column. A. Oh, okay, the type of this? Yes. B a. is A. And then it returns B. Yeah, it returns B. Yeah, so... Uh, we need to save this information somewhere. That's for sure. Let me think here. So, let's see what is what first on the abstraction. I think so, that the label is the A. And the body yes. is everything else the, after the first arrow. Mm -hmm. So, but that's the thing. We need to say to the to the body, "Hey, this A is from before," and the only way that we we know, we have to do that is to use the environment. Yes. But then the question becomes: um, how, We're gonna m insert into the map using what? That's what I am asking myself. That would be. That's a that's a question I don't know, because we're binding anonymously a. Ooh, that's interesting. Let's see. 
One sec. Oh, Nata is crafting a, a problem, probably. Yeah, no, he's crafting uh, uh, something else that I asked. I asked him because he's suggesting a way to do the conditions that is different than we did. Which is okay. I just I just have want an example. For a Haskell piece of syntax. Yeah, okay. Uh, we have a label, we have a body. Can you see if this compiles? Yeah. Because theoretically speaking, you have undefined there, so the exhaustiveness problem went away. How can I compile this here, though? In I can load I have the no file. Problem. Yeah, you can load the file. That's that's fine. Uh, the Haskell process spatula died. Restart. Yes or no? <laughs> no. Has died. <laughs> Okay, Oops. so do column. Oh yeah, okay, you show it's fine. Okay, so how do I compile this stack? Stack, stack REPL. build. No, no, build also works, but we would just want to see if the REPL is gonna do. Segmentation fault. That's not. Kill me. How the heck you got a segmentation fault? Necklace. <laughs> I have no idea at all. <laughs> um. <laughs> So cursed, man. No, there's uh, no way. Let me see what I'm gonna do. Do I have multi term? I do have multi term. Super M. Okay. Oops. No, no, no. You are inside the source folder. Go one folder back also. Yes. Okay. So now spatula. stack wrap. Stack wrap. And. Man, you don't have stack. Congrats. Can you do stack dash dash version? Oh, you I do, do have man. stack. You do have stack. Is is it current? Yes. Which is Arch sixty four. Kill me. <laughs> uh, uh, can I just build instead of repl? Thanks. Yeah, you can. Dude. But if what? stack repl is not working, stack build doesn't have a reason to work. Yeah. Okay. Probably one depends <laughs> on the others. <laughs> Oh, I sucks. never used that before, Nata. This is, I never used this notation. Makes sense, but I never used it. Let me see here. Other poor souls. Oh, man. Wait. The dude also got this issue, and he had VZ specifically because of ZSH. So there's a thread of like poor souls complaining about it. <laughs> So let's 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 do it. <laughs> Why are you laughing, man? This is not funny. This is not funny. <laughs> People are suffering and you're laughing. <laughs> do I have bash? I do have bash. So let's go and bash. Where am I? What? Okay. <laughs> Thank. Rapple. Rapple? Yay, segmentation You gotta be joking with me. Man, push this. <gasps> Can you push this? Uh, yeah, I'll do, I'll do I, it. I will try it here. Yeah, I give up on my life. <laughs> Stop using macOS. That's the solution. Yeah. Stop using ARM. ARM is cursed. So, I don't know, man. Feet. Bootstrap <laughs> entire spoon <laughs> session in 30 mean speed run. Because that's what happened. Best. Uh... Uh, when evaluating those type stuff, think that it's the thinks that this is type level stuff. And we don't have types of runtime, so what do we do? Our cases have PS. Our cases have expressions involved. Pattern guard. Let's see this. Yeah, works just fine. <laughs> yeah, so just share the screen and go yourself, man. That's just. Uh... No, no, no. We, 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 we don't need like. It, it's a nice oh, if to it's, have. If it, right? yeah. <laughs> it's not like a must, but it's very nice. It should be on Linux, man. 
Oh yeah. I should be on Linux. Um. Well, if you have a Mac there, we can wait. I can. Uh, okay. Pause let's the recording just go here. There. Oh, let's go through the next then. Going. Okay, so Nathan said, when evaluating those type of stuff, think that this isn't the type level stuff. Yeah, that's what I thought. Mm -hmm. This is not runtime at all. This is all in the the in the kind in the kind atmosphere, right? That doesn't make sense in runtime. Mm -hmm. We don't have times in runtime, okay. Ours cases have expressions involved. I am confused. I think he's saying, like, you gotta think that this part here, the for all, mm -hmm. is just for the type restriction. Am I correct, Nathan? So we, we don't care about these two expressions here. Oh. Because, like, this thing, like, this is, we're binding a type, and this is for, like, uh, like a, an identity, right? Mm -hmm. So for, like, for all. Do you have ID in Haskell? Yeah. It's better. Why the ID is not for all? Because... Uh, Plus? Oh man, this is type theory stuff. I have no idea. Number. Okay, makes sense because it's a number, but what else? Um, mm. I don't know, man. Print? Print? No, print always takes some same thing. Showable. Yeah, print I don't know, man. Be showable. Type abstraction takes a type and returns an expression. Takes a, yeah, I agree mm -hmm. totally with that. So the question becomes, do we need to care about the type? Mm -hmm. Because this is runtime stuff. We shouldn't care. We shouldn't have to care. Right? As far yeah, as I can tell. I think so. Like we should ju we, let's just evolve the body and get and get applies a type on a type abstraction. Okay, that's also fine. What else? Which we shouldn't do here, right? We don't have types at, at runtime. Yeah, so just evolve the body. That's what I thought. Is that correct? Oh, we yeah, don't nice. Do anything, right? Because we are ready. <laughs> cool. But, <laughs> but why do we need to evolve it? Why do we need to evolve this? Because Here. this is an this is an abstraction, but this is an abstraction that first receives a type and then returns the rest. But because we don't care about the types, we just oh ignore that. That's but what then, I what is the difference of this function to this? It doesn't make it does. I I don't think it's different on this level because we're not type checking yet. No, I understand that. But do we need to to put this on like? Ju we just need to to do this to complete the branch, right? We can just do this, call this instead, like convert this to this. Oh yeah, we, we can. Yeah, we totally can do that. Oh, let's let's not be lazy. Okay, let's not be lazy. Yeah, okay. But so, what should it be? I it think should it should be, be evolve inf body, and that's it. Inf body, but then. That done. That's it. No, actually, dude, like, we're ditching uh, the label. Yeah, we are ditching the label because the label only matters on the type level. And we are, we are assuming. Oh, right. It's the label assuming... for the type. Yes. <laughs> I, I forgot about that. Yes. Yeah, okay. We are assuming that. The type checker already said it's fine. Just go for it. That's pernicious. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Put underscores in some in the label in the type prime, please. Underscore. Oh. This? Yeah. The the wild cards. Oh, ugly. Looks like. No, no, no. Put no, no, no. Put underscore completely. We're not using them. We can we can remove these. All oh, right. Omit. Yeah. Omit. Yes. This. And same thing with the label. Yeah. Okay. okay. Are we done? That would be very, really interesting. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> really pathetic. <laughs> but like Probably not the, we will say that we have room. something wrong going on. I'm pretty sure. Do an example of what you just did. Do an example of what you just did. Oh sure. Like okay, so for all, all, for all a. Oh, write yours language code. Okay, let's write a program in Civilware that all right. translates. So the let's make type another file. Uh, let's make another file. Oh uh, no! Create another fo another folder, man. Like spatula examples, and then let's start pumping up examples. 
Okay, examples what? I have no idea. Type abstraction? Uh, functions, I don't know. Silverware. Oh no, I don't have the silverware mold here. Oh, that's a sin. <laughs> yeah, an example of you want, Nathan, is for all A, A, uh, arrow A. Right? We are ignoring that the A is coming from, from, from the for all. There. And we are just doing here. A, like pick a value of uh, A and then returns another value A. Is that correct what I'm saying? Maybe I'm, I'm not saying things. Actually, let's just use the lambda, right? We don't have binaries. Not lambda. yet. Uh, we X. don't have this, but we don't have this syntax yet. We're gonna have to create it from scratch. We don't have syntax okay, for the type want... abstraction and type it. application. Yeah. yeah. So, for instance, if uh, you're gonna do def, def, mm -hmm. def fun like brackets def fun, then but for all, okay, then then brackets for all. For all A, uh, uh, arrow, I don't know how we're going to do this, but arrow. <laughs> then A, in Haskell we do, we, no, 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 <laughs> no, no, this is fine, but this is not, oh man, because for all is kind of a constraint, Magita, this is not like a, a, yeah. a parameter, right? Yeah, I get For it. all A, and then we're going to do, pick, pick an A and returns an A, that's what I mean. Oh. <laughs> so be like, okay, let me. That's let me, actually not think. that bad. <laughs> Let's use the lambda, man. Lambda. So for all, I mean, a? decreases because it's. I would just big. close my eyes for a moment. <laughs> arrow, so arrow, a, arrow. Let's do capital letter. Okay. First. Arrow. This. A. And then arrow. A. A. No, no. Oh, okay, no. the type, a? right? Yes. But I think this needs and to be wrapped in parentheses, B. though. The parameters. Right? I don't remember the syntax. It's so crazy that I don't recall. Uh, let me open Spoon here. Oh, we have here examples. Oh, do you um, have there? Yeah, I do. Examples, Fibonacci, No, no, you didn't, pull, you didn't pull the code. You don't have the newest examples. Oh, I can pull. Okay, so pull then. Uh, Cubis. <laughs> Origin. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I think reset was X. Yes. X hard H two master P P. No. Kill me. <laughs> okay. Examples. Let's go to oh, the advanced. Oh, that's stupid. Wait, wait, wait. That was the wrong one. Yeah. So you to need push. to wrap the parameters. You need to wrap Look the parameters, business. man. We've got so many examples we have here. I'm proud of us. Okay, so this A, the A after the arrow, this needs to be inside parentheses. Go to the advanced. Let's open one. here so the advanced. There it is. Look at this beauty. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this so this as you can see beauty. there, we have an arrow that is Z that picks two integers and returns an integer. Oh, so right. that means that all the parameters, they need to be wrapped in parentheses. That's how the parser uh -huh. is going there. So the, the so, A before the before the B, this needs parentheses. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. I know it's wrong. This. No, 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 wait, wait, this, this is too wrong, I guess. Oh no, we were making the, re oh, wait, I'm confused now. This. Wait. This is the body. Wait. I am confused. Um, for all a, we're gonna return a function. For all a, we're gonna return a function. This is so inconsistent. Holy crap! Wait, because this is worse than Erlang. No, 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 no. Take a look on z, man. Pay attention on z. Z is okay. a function that picks an integer, another mm -hmm. integer, and returns an integer. Pay attention that the return type is isolated. The parentheses they go on the dependencies, not on the yes. return type, right? So what I'm not, what I'm having a tr trouble here is that you are putting parentheses on the return. Is that correct? Wait. So let, let's write in normal ML what we want to do. 
Okay. It was the thing that we were doing. So it is A, Fun, B, and then B, B that has type B, A, A returns, B. returns B. Yeah. Like this. That's pretty much it. So, so how do we translate that? Yeah, so here, if you use the same notation that we are using on the right, fun A and fun B that it has type A, both of them should be wrapped on parentheses because the return is B. Yeah. Yeah, so um, it should be something along the lines of for all well, A... Right. For all For A, all A... Dot, let's do it. Dot, fun, fun B, B, type A, uh, arrow returns B. B. Yeah, so this is the function, this is the version that we want to do. Do you agree that the B in the middle, it needs to be wrapped in parentheses? In our language? Yeah. Because it's a dependency. Yeah. Yes, sir. That's right. Okay, so let's go back to our lambda. So it's going to so be an A. For all A, I'm fine with adding the parentheses with the like the asterisk. Oh, okay. For the let's for do all. this for now. Yeah, okay. Let's... That's fine. Okay, so, so far it's this. Yeah, for all A. Now we need to add the signature of... Uh, I don't know. Just do a loan that receives A with the type, type. With the type, type. The loan that receives A. Yeah, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, didn't, I didn't get that. Um... Let me read. Wait. Uh, just to allow me to receive oh, wait, 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 wait. Type, I, 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 got, I got it. I got it. No, no, I, I didn't get what Anton said, but I got how to do in our code. Go to the lambda and then space, parentheses, space, space parentheses, B, okay. B, space, capital A, and then after the blue parentheses, after the blue parentheses, you're going to do B. Space B. All right, makes sense. No, non that's capital. That's return type. Non capital. No. Oh, this is the body you mean. So it would be here. Yes. Okay. Yes. Yeah, makes sense. Makes sense. Got it. Okay. So, in the level that we want, the for for all A doesn't matter because we are doing runtime stuff. That looks actually pretty cool. Let me just add it here, just for, you know, silverware. What? Oh, this is in the other project. Silverware mode. Just uh, let me add it here, just for, you know. <laughs> Our entertainment. <laughs> yes. Because not is with, he has his eyes closed, so. What should be the symbol? This? What? No, no, no. The 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 times uh, greater than for me is pretty okay. Times greater than. Yeah. This is our for all. Uh, I don't know, man. I feel like I'm liking something. <laughs> I don't know. V. <laughs> I don't feel. I don't feel comfortable. You don't feel comfortable. That's interesting. Yeah, man. Like F. No, that's ugly. F dot? Mm. What do you think? F dot? That looks actually pretty cool. Okay. Yeah, F dot is fine. That will <laughs> screw up the... Uh, possibly that will screw up the syntax, but... <laughs> we don't, don't know that yet. <laughs> we definitely right, don't so know don't that care. yet. <laughs> so let me evolve this. <laughs> Oopsie. <laughs> and then silverware mode. Yeah, change now the, the, the thing there to F dot. And I think I need to load again. Silverware. Oh, I need to actually remove it. Silverware. Let's just do F sharp mode. No, please don't start LSP. Bye. <laughs> don't start LSP. No, no, I, I can't take this. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, no. All right, and we need a space here so it highlights. Yeah, okay, I can kind of fix that, but that's okay. Okay, for all A, 
pick a pick a B and re that, that has type A. Yeah, that's pretty much aligned with what we did before. Yeah, yeah so Nathan said cool. type abstraction is an abstraction. What changes that the type of the parameter it will not be a value with a type, it will be a type with a kind. It'd be yeah, a type with a kind. Yeah, pretty much. Um, oh, yeah. okay, I think I Yeah, it. but you didn't you didn't answer me uh, uh, yet, Nathan. Are we done with the evaluator? Because I, I'm kind of, I kind of have a oh. feeling that we, it is, right? <laughs> you could use those things to make a uniform syntax. Oh yeah, no, we can change the syntax. It's oh, fine. we can change it. You can change it after, for just the for the uh, initial moment here. So let me do a, I don't know, main. I don't, I don't know if you guys do visiting Haskell, but no, no, no. You already have a main. Do we? Yeah. Where is it? It's on the folder called app. What? Oh, I might create my, but whatever. Do you want to restart it? Please Does the code me. type check? Well, that's a good question, but not that. My get can check, can't type check it. I can't, I can't even run the code. So. <laughs> Does the code type check? Dude, are you kidding me? Are what? you failing? Yeah, what are you doing, brother? Like, I'm just trying to open, but then the LSP is like, oh no, I'm cringy. LSP. Just type check down. on your mind limbs, lol. No, but in my mind, is already type checked. I don't see reds, so. It's no, 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 checked. I am pretty it's confident that is, that's fine because everything is basically, aside from the closure, everything is calling evolve again. Which means that or we're gonna have a infinite recursion of it is type and it is type checked or we, it's gonna work. So both ways type checked, which is cool. Let's see the evil garbage that's happening here. Uh, we're silent. What the hell is that? Oh, it's macOS. No, it's Nix. Let's be Nix search he, path. No, no, here yellow blah 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 project type. Yeah, what? both 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 versions of Stack and JHC are correct. Oh, by the way, sockets connection refused to show trace. I bet it's it's because it's not you cannot start the service because this thing is protected and you're not using sudo. I would recommend um, uh, restarting Emacs, maybe. Well, I don't know if it's Emacs, but anyway, you just go yourself, man, and just wasting time here. We try to fix this garbage. No, can you commit the code? Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, is up. Yeah, just a second, adding a commit message. Oh, I need to share the screen. Sorry, Mata. Ah, uh, master. There it is. Okay, you can get it on us. Uh, How to do a presentation without a mic? Libras. <laughs> I know my lip reading, something like this. Okay. Flip phone, Renata. Get a flip phone. Okay, people. Uh, okay, but this is a lie now. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, we do need a return here for now because we're not using transformers, so that's fine. Uh, okay, so let's call this... So let me try to understand, like, this is an I.O. block, so this is effectful yes. garbage, yes. and then yes. you do a do notation to return something from the evolve, which is a... Yeah, so that lets me but try to... But the evolve, either. 
Exactly. So this is where the whole transformer thing comes in because you want to use both functionalities. You want to be able to use IO, but you also want to be able to be able to use either. And the way that the uh -huh. transformers come in is to exactly solve this problem. So you can go back and forth using both or multiple if you have a stack of them. Uh, because this main function, this I did this before we did the session. I did this on Saturday, I guess. So what I need to do uh, then, Magetta, because this returns an either and this do block is for I.O. Because I want to be you able to print wrap, stuff, huh? I need to wrap it with I.O. stuff just to unwrap it later. Yeah, I see. And then we can just do print result and then do like that. And then we can just... Oh. Okay, so we forgot. Let's go here. And arriving. All right. Uh, why are you complaining? Oh, because this is a function, which means that it's not showable. Oh no! Oh. <laughs> Can't we override this? Like, uh, uh, we can. How do we implement? It? Because this is okay. Instance or something mm -hmm. along those lines, and then we need to implement the function like show. Yeah, but you don't have to do this because the only thing that matters for us at the moment is the literals, and literals they are printable. But like, if you do that, just like ignore the function and just print like a whole but like at fun stuff like this. I don't know. Yeah, like, uh, the rest is just fine. Yeah. Already, I, always, I always forget this. Uh, it's, I think it's instance uh, show value off. What are you complaining? Off? Is that right? Uh, we can double check this in the... In the because usually we just derive or use libraries all the time. So let me let me double check here how I did with like that. Or not tough. Oh, just we swear. Fun. Or just I'm dumb. or can you make a hash of the fun like of of an object? I know it's not an object, but can you make a hash out of something like a uh, virtual memory? I don't think so, but you can try that later. So this is gonna be which type show needs to be. Uh, string show the literal it's like all comma levels of printing then you're but with all the type literal. class show uh, closure uh, whatever whatever Can't print. I just print like a like a like a what not the said man. Look at the chat. Oh fun. Yeah. Between parentheses. Parentheses no, like less and greater than. Double check this is yeah this is recording. Okay. Then native. Oh, it can be fun as well. So it's um, transparent. There's no distinction whatsoever. Oh, it's complaining something fundamentally wrong now. Still wrong. Oh, these parentheses are necessary. Why it was all green? All of a sudden. Oh, Why it's because not? you can use this notation. Oh, to that's, ignore everything. Yeah, that's no. correct. And this doesn't actually need parentheses. Yeah, okay. Now we can show stuff. Now. Wait, hey, didn't import show there, do we? We don't have to. Don't we need to? No? Okay. 
Oh man, I think he max added that crap. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I imagine that. Uh, oh, not to send you something. Right. Let's see. Would it be better to know the diff? Wait, what the fuck was that notation? This? Oh, <laughs> <Dead>. yeah. <laughs> this looks like a. This is this is the this power is... of HLint, by the way. It's so powerful. It's uh, sometimes it, like it transforms a bunch of F maps and applicatives to like a do when you say, oh, okay. What I understood, it's like the spread. Is that it? No, not really like the spread, but it's the same effect. Like you're. Yeah, it's the same effect as doing and... what I did. What I did. Like this. It's the same thing. It's not a record, Nata. It's just because everything in the product type is being ignored. So apparently there is a syntax sugar that you can do just this. It looks uh, like alien. What, what else do we need? Uh, this is also, this we also can derive. So EQ show. Okay. Okay, I want to see something running. So make an example there. Okay, cool. What is this fun that is complaining? It's complaining about fun? some shadows the existing binding. So we already have something called fun apparently. Oh, it, it, it actually says that. Oh, we have fun here. And yeah. Okay, so let's call this. Yeah, like not that. fun. Okay, cool. Okay. <laughs> okay, cool. <laughs> that that, that evolved correctly. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's do the following. Let's not uh, let's not uh, derive the show Wait, for this guy. shouldn't it evolve to a value? Why did it evolve to a literal? Because I am doing a literal unit in the main. Show. Okay, you're just like hard coding, right? Yes, I am. I'm gonna change. Okay, so now we're gonna have the unit for types later. Yeah, we're gonna we we well, we're gonna we're gonna have uh, a show instance for everything. That's, all. That's fine. L integer. But if you can type check right now, that'll be cool. <laughs> Dude, I'm kind of thinking of just coding this on Windows. Like, I'm really, really thinking this Wait, is a viable solution. Coding this, like just installing Haskell compiler on Windows. And oh, just you can use GGHC up there, and it's very, like, a lot easier. Uh, everything that breaks on Linux probably works on Windows for some reason. That's the rule. Just go like that. Ta -da! That's cool. <laughs> it's already type checking, by the way. So <laughs> because it needs to work somewhere. So let's type check. Make a typer. No. Okay. Just go. Type. Rolling fast. Next language we're doing, we're doing Golang, by the way. <laughs> I don't know if what not I will say about that, but okay. <laughs> Imagine just checking the eaves all the time. Awesome. <laughs> okay. So this will be directly what we were doing. Yeah, this one I remember well what we did. So this will go smoothly. Uh, yes. Yeah, but back back then we did this returning a type, and I kind of don't want to do that. Let's do it in a bool for now. Uh, I need to go have dinner. I'll go real quick, and I'll be back because I'm excited for this. Go link do notation. <laughs> <laughs> oh, <man. laughs> anyway, I'll be back. Oh, we are not we are not exporting stuff. 
We should make files separate for these guys, actually, now that I think about it. Because this is actually encapsulating both the types, like the type checker behavior and the evaluating behavior. A result type because it could fail. Yeah, I, I agree. Um, just for now, let's make a types.hs because we can share stuff more easily. I actually don't know how my how Haskell people do this uh, because usually they have one gigantic file and I kind of don't like that. So. Yeah, we can have we can remove all of this stuff like that, and we can just go here and do it like that. Okay. The file that when you change, you need to compile the whole recompile the whole fucking project. Oh yeah, but in this case, it's because we are sharing the types both ways for the type checking procedure and the evaluating procedure so that's why i'm doing this manner i actually like i said i don't know how this is properly done i will ask my boss tomorrow <sighs> so i don't know maybe something like that Literal. Should we? Oh yeah, we should grant access to literals. That makes sense. We also have an expression. Yeah, it doesn't need to be shared, but it already it already is. I know I know what you mean. It doesn't need to be, but it already kind of is. So we could make two different ASCs. to type okay we also want to have env and result uh, env env result pretty cool And then evaluator will just export evolve. And then you are basically done. Import types. And we also gonna have to have qualified data map as map. And I think this is done. Use AST instead of types. Value, for example, only need to be inside the evaluator. That makes a lot of sense, by the way. That the value only needs to be inside the evaluator. It doesn't need to be other places. Um, okay, typer. Okay, so this guy... This guy needs types, as far as I can tell. And this will only share with the world type check. Um, I don't know if we want to do go with the result, not to, because the result is always returning a value, right? So actually, it makes sense to not have this here. We can have a result for this. Um, actually, what I really wanted is this to be like a data type. Yeah, that's 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 what I I I I skipped the explanation, but bec but now that we have some time, I can explain it here. Why we don't have a type parameter here, right? That's a good question, and I can explain it to you. So if we have a result a equals to either text uh, a, that would be very problematic. You know why? Because we would have to instantiate all this stuff for that. Like we would have to have a functor for it, we would have to have uh, an applicative for it, the monad for it, 
semi group if you have, if you want my pending in the transformer later we would have to make our own transformer for this and then i decided okay let's just reuse the either one and call it a day so we can go that route of using uh, you can, but not for, to all the extent that we need. As far as I can tell, you cannot derive applicative onwards. You cannot derive applicative and monad and transformer. You need to. You can only go to functors and foldables, as far as I can tell. It is smart enough to, to derive the functor and the foldable, but the applicative, I couldn't find it. I don't know if it's possible or not. Maybe it is, I'm just not smart enough. So that's why I decided to not go this route, you see? Create true results types then. Yeah, that's sad. Um, yeah, I think that's that this is going to have to be the way. Unfortunately, which is sad, right? But if you, if we have the energy, we can go back to this later and make it proper. Typer, this, I guess it's gonna be like that. I'm not sure. Why are you complaining? Oh, it's because it's you are like this. And then here we're going to go with type result. Replace string result the evo result. Okay. Cool. So what do we need to type check stuff? What do we need? Because I kind of already forgot. <laughs> no. Oh no, it is in here. Source. Typer. Okay. So. Don't even look at this code. <laughs> no, the, the idea of type checking is there. What is env there, right? Env is this. It's also related to a value. Uh, this doesn't have to be. It can be like that. No, 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 but this, with this one, it doesn't matter because we don't have to use the, f the fancy stuff. So this can be a data stuff. Don't you need a constraint? Why? Why do I need a constraint? It needs to be showable, maybe? Why is it complaining? No, 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 the key is always the t text. It's always text. But this is interesting. Why is it complaining? Cannot parse data constructor. Oh, it isn't. Okay, cool. Uh, which means that I can go back. I don't have to debug this now, which is cool. Evolve inv, which means that this should not go here. Which means that all oh, these guys are wrong. Cool. And then we can go, just go to the evaluator. 
print this here again. Evolve. We could use really use a set, a set for the bounded type variables. No, but now I am confused. Why we can't use just a map? A set for the bounded type variables. Yeah, but aren't, aren't we like saying, oh, this label has, it's representing a variable with this type? Aren't we doing that? We are not doing that. That's interesting. We are not doing that. We are for variables. Yeah, so it is a map, right? Oh, you mean the type of variables like the for all stuff? And I'm talking to... <laughs> Let me put the chat here. But I need to keep track of the bounded type of variables. Yeah, so this is the for all, for, for the for all stuff. So I think we're gonna do we're gonna have a tuple. Don't show this the chat. Why? It's not a stream, it's just a video. What are you talking about? I'm shy. Okay. Uh type and typer inf. This can be a tuple then. This can be a tuple of a map of a text with a type. And this can also be a set of type. What do you say? More retro compatibility. I don't. Uh, I don't know about that, but we can definitely. Um, it's definitely better to have uh, st uh, records in this case. So, what's the name of this guy? Okay, okay, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, bounded types. And this guy will be variable types. What are you complaining? No. Bruh, what are you complaining? Cannot parse to the constructor. Uh, am I going crazy? Am I doing something wrong? What if this is a number? Yeah, that's not the problem. Am I forgetting something? Maybe I am. Let me. I always forget this one. <laughs> and usually, I guess you yeah, do like that. Uh, okay. So, what is this? This is a typer. Inv. Okay. So what do we need to type check? Came back. Oh, awesome. Um, so what happened? Nothing. You did nothing, man. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, set of text. A set of text. You mean the bounded types? Nothing. 
Now why? Why does the set of text already works for us? Uh, Piper result. Piper info. Oh, wait. I think I know why. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we only need a name, right? It's just like for all A. We just we just, we only care about that. Yeah, so it can be text. Which, by the way, I don't. I have no idea how this is not complaining about that. But okay. Oh, it's because I am importing in, in the type. Oh yeah. Okay. Uh, it's kind of better practice to have here. Let's see. Bona types. It's a set. Then variable types. It is a map of text. Yeah, the bounded Does types is for the for all stuff, like the mm -hmm. fancy new stuff, and the variable types is when you have to bind like a name, like a label to a specific type, so you can type check. All right. Uh, and I, I we cool. also made the. Oh, nothing is right. We also made the. Uh, a, a, a file just for um, common stuff between the typer and the other stuff, which is cool. This is the thing that we need. We don't need this anymore. Okay, the sharing. Map. Yeah, that's nice. Okay, so projectile save and then yay it's not happy at all okay we didn't we do need we do need some text in here but and, uh, you're importing the types which already imports so why didn't it complain on the other no i think it will complain it's all right. yeah it will complain definitely oh and something said that we 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 saw is that we have to have two separate environments which is not ideal but we'll work for now what yeah because we were not to ask why you don't make like a parametric like an environment not necessarily is, bu is bound to a value and then I oh explain, i see and then i and then i explain oh man it's because um well the result you want to be able to use transformers later so you can do io stuff oh right mm -hmm. Um, oh, that's 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 sad. We can make our own, own transformers later if you guys want. So, mm -hmm. okay, set. Okay, so Emacs is trolling. Okay, good. Thanks, Emacs. <laughs> He's looking at you and laughing. Import. Do we have data dot set? Yes. Cool. <laughs> uh, Import data qualified. Restart an SP, by the way. I think it. What is this qual the qualified, by the way? It's just like require qualified access. Yes. Like, all right. Yes. Uh, okay, now main is complaining, which is good. Uh, import types. Yay! Okay, type checks. Let's go. Yeah, I think it is a rename, but it's renaming like map dot, and then like everything needs to be inside a map dot. Yes. Like you can't make it outside, right? Yes. Uh, okay, so what do we need to type check? Oh, uh, do you want me to? I think I remember well. So we can start, let's just start with the most dumb thing, which is a literal. Yes, I agree. So let's just make a literal. Um, type check, env, and then we're going to have an expression, which is an L, a E, literal, uh, literal. So a literal is just type. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so that's it. Oh, no, wait. We just match the literal, and then you see which class it is, oh, and then that's it. Yeah. Okay, so if it is an L unit, you're gonna just return um, unit. Like, oh, do we have like unit. 
Okay, if yes, we have C, those types, right? If it's uh, L integer, ignoring the value because this is type checking, we're gonna just return this. Can't you pipe stuff to peer? Pipe, I oh, don't have pipe. Oh man, I'm like <laughs> brainwashed. I'm brainwashed, sorry. Anyway, because I would just wrap this in a block and pipe to peer, like something like this, but we can't use that on return either in F sharp, so never mind me. Like, my question is, can you wrap this in parentheses and do pure? Yes, like that. Okay. Then that... Oh, that's ugly. <laughs> Probably there's a better way to do this, though, but... We can go like this for now. Uh, T rational. Oh, yeah, ignore the... Wait, not I said ignore the env. Yeah, the env doesn't matter. Okay, you ignored already. Okay, are you happy? Probably not. Different number of arguments. Typer in abstraction. Oh, that should be a fun... No. Uh... Yeah, try... Amazing. <laughs> this is Emacs. This is Emacs again. Okay. And then we can do in pure to type. This should work better. Yeah, that looks much better. Yeah, but it's still complaining though. Different Please number of arguments. I don't understand. Why are you complaining about that, my, my man? Isn't it a branch that is wrong? No, that doesn't look like it. Oh, oh yes. <laughs> okay, was the function down there? Didn't even notice. All right. So let's do an abstraction now. Wait, let me fix this because nothing is dying. Okay. Uh... So let's do let's do a variable. A variable. A variable is easier. Okay. So type. So check. you just find the variable in the inf and then return the type. Yeah, this should be pretty. Similar to the other guy. Yeah, same thing. You just get the value and then you... <laughs> Type check. Uh, yes. Yes, this returns a maybe, which is cool. Then couldn't find uh, your yours. Don't say couldn't, say could not. That sounds more professional. <laughs> I have to agree, that's actually a tip for when I did in my final steps of graduation. Always use this. Instead of uh, other stuff. Oh! Okay. Okay, so let's, let's do another cool move here. Uh, what? Yeah, because we're gonna have. Do you notice that our environment is not simple anymore? Is that a map? Oh, is this a macro? No, something? this is a, a, a pragma. Also, no. This is a record. Which is acts like a pragma, I guess. Type inf. And then. I guess you're gonna do the variable time. Nice. That looks like th JavaScript, by the way. Where? <laughs> the dot dot on the typer in the... <laughs> yeah, it's because this, these records can go wild, and so you can just have the names <sighs> out of the... That looks like uh, the, the spread operator. Amazing. Could not match. Oh, we also need this. Nice. Uh, unbounded variable. Oh, could not find your variables type in the environment. I'm gonna fix the error messages later because I don't. I I always don't just remember. Do, dude, ju just do what I do. Meh. That's no, it. no, no. That's a very bad. That's a very bad move, I would say. Or just do an exception. 
I love exceptions. They're awesome. How do you make exceptions in Hasco, by the way? Uh, I know that's a sin in Hasco, but more than what one is... way of doing that? Oh, amazing. I love uh, it. I would love to learn every way. <laughs> okay. Um, okay, that's the time. Next. Mm. Oh, but wait a second. What? Mm, you're looking... Okay, this type or any is different, right? It just has types. Alright, so that's it. Now, let's look for the... Wait, let me explain first for everybody to understand what is this doing. When you have a record and it has a bunch of fields, you can, like, if you want to pattern match, I could have done this. Uh, type or env. And then a, b, right. And b would be the variable types. I could have mm -hmm. done that. Uh, but this is th because records they typically have a bunch of other stuff aside from two fields being a tuple, right? Mm -hmm. uh, when you use this language extension, this allows you to do this notation with the, like braces and dot dot, and then you already have automatic naming, let's say. So uh, the name of the field is the name of the label of this field in this context. Mm -hmm. So that is that's why I did that way. Anyway, okay, we can go now. So type check, what's next? Abstraction. Uh, does that need the Could environment? I guess so. Yes, sir. So We're not gonna do very addict bullshit, are we? I think we decided to drop that last session. Thank you. <laughs> so... <laughs> oh, man. Okay. Okay, go on, Magita. So, uh, let me think. So we need to. We have. Mm -mm, we have the. The van, the label, right, and the body that we care about, and we have the type there for that label. So, the type of an abstraction is just. Uh, well, a function, right? Do we? What is the arrow? Can you show? I don't recall the SD. And not I say something here. Yeah. Do you really need that? Need what, you say? Oh, he's sharing let me see. X equals A or B. Uh, oh name. no, he's saying uh, he's talking about the extension, the record wildcards. Uh record patterns allow you to name. I don't mm -hmm. think you have access to X, Y and name. If you're doing that way without the extension. Because pay attention in this example, he's pattern matching C, but he's not using anything inside that is inside C, right? Maybe I'm wrong. Mm. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm just saying that this is something that I noticed. Uh, okay, anyway, go on Magetta again because I lost track. Right, so so we now need to um the Define the result type of this would be the arrow type, right? But what is our arrow type? Can you go through the SD? I don't recall. Let me put the mic Wait, here. You need the arrow. Yeah, because of a type of an abstraction is an arrow, right? Oh, it's here. Where? Oh, I wasn't looking to the other. I was with the screen. So yeah, it's the arrow, and then the type of the input and the type of output. Yeah, but we so don't need it. to lay, use the Leo or something like well, that. Well, we do. You already have the type there of the first one, which is that type. So you need to add that to the environment also. No, you already have that, right? Wait. Like, like the arrow is input output. You already have the input. You just need to evolve the output. Oh, so we can ignore the label. Yeah. I guess. Is that correct, Nathan? We can't. Okay, he's okay. So why? Oh, we need to add the type of the thing to the environment to evolve the expression. That's right. Oh, okay. Okay, so we we do need a new environment. Yeah. So you add that thing to the type range, and then you do the the trick. Search label type this. Inv. 
then in pure uh, t arrow uh, type this uh, type check Ooh. Yeah. We can do it in that manner. Okay. Okay. Uh, result type. Type check new wave expression. And then. I'll remove the let as well. Remove the let? Wait, why? Oh, or just add the in on the end, I guess. Okay, this is not as simple as I initially wanted, but that's... Wait, cool. what? Yeah, this is... Because this is not a map, and env is not a map anymore. Which means that I need... Wait, what? What is env then? Env is a... Oh, it has a, a set inside of it, and another thing, which is the map. Now this is a new thing, right? Is this correct? Yeah, this is now the map. And then we do, we want the same exact in environment for the bounded types, but we just gonna want to change the variable types to yeah. be overwritten by this. Mm -hmm. Cool. Okay. Um, <laughs> Looks right. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, not saying you could better match. Yeah, the we could better match AMV here to get to abstract out these two, but I would have to yeah, reconstruct it later, so. Yeah, let's be pragmatic and ignore that. Anyway, yeah. <laughs> Type check. I do get the line true. Let's see. Nathan doesn't get line true. I don't get line true. Which one? Line, true? Which one? Which was four? The part zero. Zero. This one. Okay, so what we are doing is we are grabbing, we are calling type check, and we are saying to it, use the same environment as this, but in this field, change it to this. But use the same bounded types. Uh, all the rest of the record is the same. We are only overriding this field with this new content. Yeah, you should just add the variable to the to the environment and just evolve the body later. Yeah, so and then we are, I'm doing like this, so can we we're gonna maintain the same bounded types? And then so that's it. Yeah, let's move to application, which is the hell. I think it won't be hellish because we don't have the very etic bullshit now. The so. body is the first one. I don't recall, man. Good. <laughs> yeah, oh, it should be, yeah. If it makes sense, if it's according to yeah. reality. Yeah, okay. Be. Actually, you're calling this <laughs> right. fun. Okay. Yeah, fun. We don't have fun. body there, yeah. So, okay. Uh, we first need to evolve the arguments. If that's already wrong, then we can already discard. Uh, we need to evolve the argument. We need to type check the argument, you mean. Nagata? Uh, yes, the arguments. I was really. We don't have body there, the function. What do you mean we don't have the function? No, no, no. We don't have. Wait. We don't Apple have the function here. We don't have I'm body there, and then it said the function. Yeah. I'm, I'm we type not... check the function. Yeah. Arc. What's the What's the problem? He's writing. It's fine. Type check. Uh, if it's and not an arrow, we fail already. If it's not a re an arrow, we fail. Oh, it doesn't matter if you have all fun or the argument. Oh, okay, never mind. Yes, it does. Because, well, not really, it's just inefficiency, I guess. Okay, so we first check if fun is. Um, arrow. Yeah, that's true, because we. The arg can be unit, and if it's an arrow, then it makes sense. Uh, actually, yeah, it doesn't matter. It's just efficiency, I guess. Because you can send anything to a function, right? 
And then right now we're gonna do whatever. And then here. Uh, do we have a native font as well? We do, right? Which also evolves to no, arrow. No, we just have Didn't arrow do... for all. This for all and this. Wait, no, but confused. like we have like an expression that is a native fun. We should also evolve to arrow. Wait, but do you see that we have that. a type for variable? Type for variable. Yes, what's the problem? We are not using it <laughs> anywhere. And we already passed through the variable part. Oh, we are looking up in the map and finding the thing. What's the problem? No, that's my question. Why do we have this? Nathan? Why do we have a... The name is misleading. Oh, okay, fine. <laughs> okay. I accept that. Yeah, the native function is also an error. Uh... Oh, I see what you're asking. Okay. Uh... Someone, yeah, someone, we'll bring me. me. Someone create a, a an error message for me. Uh, me in the too. meantime, <laughs> in the meantime, what we do? We now have the parameter type and the result type. We know it's an error. What we do? I think we need to check the argument type. If I'm not yeah. mistaken. Yes. So uh, env arg. And then. Oh, just and then you check with the input of the arrow, the parameter type. We don't care about the result type in this case, I guess. No, we do because that's the response, right? If it matches, then the resulting type of this expression oh, is the arg. It's the, it's the, the return. Result type. Oh, yeah. okay. That makes sense. Okay, so if we have the arg type being equal, how do the equality? I forgot. <laughs> Isn't it just the equal? Uh, uh, equal, I equal? I, I gen generally forgot parameter. Then, uh, then result type. Else, uh, actually, this is pure. Yeah, this needs to be wrong. Equal, equal. I forgot. Yeah, equal, equal, equal. Okay. Yeah. So if it is right, then you return that crap. Otherwise, you it's a well, it's a failure again. So left. Math three. <laughs> Math three. Parameter. Parameter. Okay, so we need to error message, Nathan. You know, you know, you know the jam. If I allow Magetta to put their message, we're gonna have a mat one and two here. Like I see people doing every day, just print the stack trace, and that's it. <laughs> that's the error message. The evol have the error message for is not a function case. Yeah, okay, just write something like this. Whatever. Okay. This is what parameter, uh, function, uh, function type, and uh, argument type do not match. Something like this. Yeah. Function type. input type expected, blah, 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 but got type this. Type match thing. between um, parameter uh, and That's argument. kind of misleading, and it can be anything. I'm going to change the error messages later anyway. Yeah, okay. When I uh, re remember how you, we do the S printf. Anyway, application is done. Um, what else? Condition. Yeah, condition. Dude, this was so easier. It's <laughs> <laughs> a joke, man. We can do the prelude as well today. And then we have officially everything that we had and more. <laughs> No, we don't have the parser though. Oh well, yeah. Uh, but anyway, uh, so uh, the condition is easy. Else, just check if the thing, the case is a bool, 
and then just check if the two branches have the same type. That's it. No. Type, type check. check. Uh, inf count. Uh, case. <laughs> it's a parser anyway. <laughs> oh, we can use the... We can adapt, I guess, the parser from uh, the knife. That would be kind of hellish, but we can. Dude, we could. it would be actually pretty cool. We could adapt it to make it like sort of a VM. Oh, but I don't want to do that in LFA. So, fuck it. LF... Oh, you mean the Silver Anoplus? Yeah, we could just adapt the parser we already have to do that, but I prefer just to redo it. Just to screw it. <laughs> Yeah, we still have to see if the uh, Atoparsec allows us to have the fancy stuff like positions and columns and lines, which I didn't actually. Oh, it does. Then if Fparsec does, does then Haskell, which is the inspiration, probably has. Uh, if. And the else, you forgot the else branch. No, if. Okay, you if already did the point. Else type. Mm -hmm. No. Keep by closure. Uh, then, uh, whatever. Else, actually, it needs to be pure or whatever. And this um, left. Oh, come on, man. Maybe this could be one line. Between. Like, type check, blah, blah, blah. Equals type check, no circle up. Type check. That That's amazing. Like, why are you typing more? And then. Are you trying to make the code more readable? Who cares, man? Condition test needs to be a boolean. Condition needs to be a... <laughs> That's actually good for generic error message. <laughs> uh, that's a pretty generic error message, to this way. Okay. That's it. Okay. Fancy ones. Okay, we are done. No, we need the fancy no, ones. No, world. Yeah, the basic ones, we are done. Yeah, the basic ones are done. Now it's the time of suffering. Okay, so we just need to... Let me think. It's the same thing of an, app, an application, I guess. We need to send the thing. Because it's kind of occurring. So we need to send the shit to the environment, like add the thing. I'll let it type. Mm -hmm. Expression. Okay. Go. Not noticed something he's typing. Mm -hmm. We forgot about something, the, the type, type comparison. comparison. Needs to be custom. Needs to be a custom. Mm, comparison. Really? Oh. <laughs> yeah. Why? Let's talk about. Why the see. why the type needs to be custom? This typing, let's see. I think I have an idea. I actually don't, to be honest. Because is equal to. Mm. Yeah. So how do you distinguish uh, which one? It's these ones. These two types are for the fancy ones. What? Oh, let me see. I'm not looking. Yeah, because for all A A A is equal to for all B B B. Yeah. Yeah. Which means that we do need to make it custom just for because of the for all. That's so sad. Ah, we need a ah. custom equal egg. Yeah, we need a custom egg. Instance. It's actually cool where we can do this. I forgot the it would be requirement. Funny. It would be fun. It would be fun doing this in F sharp. We'll be doing like a methods object orientation. So, 
What is that that you were looking? I didn't see. Um, yeah, so if you, I did, I asked for information in the repo. Give me information about the equal type class. And then it told me that to the minimal requirement to have that is to implement the equal or the different. Mm -hmm. Okay, like at least you need to do like yeah. this thing. Interesting. Okay, so... I'm about to puke, Magita. Why, man? That's so lovely. Don't you like just override stuff? Like making <laughs> interfaces. Like <laughs> Sharp O. That F Sharp O is actually good over there. What are you talking about? Dude, think of how cool it is to make like methods for uh, some type. That's amazing, man. That's beauty. Like you can literally make like an object inherit from a class that is essentially just a discriminated union. That's beautiful. I don't know what that is talking How about. How do we... Leave the, the for all for less. less. Do, the Do the simple, simple cases. cases. But the simple cases aren't just the deriving one. I never did yeah, this before. Okay. I just want to change one specific one on the sun type and everything else I want to use normal. Oh, if you could inherit, you could just uh, overwrite the method. That would be so cool. Let's apply to, f to few. I'm actually not quite <laughs> You know, all you can... <laughs> No, I'm not certain. That's the thing. I'm not certain we can do that. I mean, not, not that it's like, oh, we can't override only one. <laughs> yes, my friend. Man, oh, oh, isn't this that? isn't this that? Like, let me see. This uh, this seems wrong. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I'm actually surprised that the, the it's I not see. complaining at all. <laughs> it just typed like ooga booga <laughs> and then it works. <laughs> tell me, tell me. Yeah, it just works. <laughs> and the types they, they make you dumb <laughs> <laughs> let me see so for all uh, nothing t1 equals to for all t2 is equals to t1 equals t2 yeah we are ignoring the text basically mm -hmm. we are like if you are doing bay so you give me the criteria to select right yeah so the criteria the yes Mm -hmm. The criteria to say that this T for all stuff thing is equal to this yeah, one. Like, so it should be like a for all int, blah, 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 and then it has to be int as well. Yeah, I'm, uh, this is just a guess. I don't know if this is correct. I'm just typing. Does the T error works like, uh, does the T error works like intended? Mm -hmm. Well, it's going to compare this guy and this guy, like with two instances, right? So this to the first one of that. Yeah, this is the second one of that. But, but the arrow is itself atomic, right? So you should compare the entire arrow, not only the response no, no, it type. Will it will com tr match this first. Like, oh, the your arrow, okay. What is the criteria to define the two T arrows are equal? As far as I can tell, maybe I'm s I would be very surprised. But, but how does this instance work then? Because, like, is this first, is this thir line three? Following from line two, that's not right. They're two different. No, they are two different. Clauses. They are two different clauses. Oh, okay, so this is because sense. I don't want to pattern match them individually. Nathan says, "Be right back." Yeah. Okay. So because I don't want to pattern right, match so them it. individually, I'm so saying. If it is, I get it. So if it is an arrow, it goes for line three. Yes. Is that it? Yes. All right. At least that's my intention. Like I said, I never did this before. I didn't even know if this works. All right. Um, no. Let's see if it. Um. Do we have access to everything? So uh, I don't know. You're asking me? No. Mm -hmm. Wait, we do not have access to types. And literally the Haskell Greg here. Not in scope types. Oops, so what does he? Bunch of warnings that does I don't care about that. I don't have types. Yeah, wasn't there a warning in the beginning? Oh, here. A... Okay, right. so we can test. We can test. So. Oh, this rep was so much better than F sharp. T arrow. Uh, T unit. And. Uh 
No. I don't know. T integer. And let's say that we want to do that for this guy as well. Yeah. Okay. That's a good start. Look, looks, looks promising. <laughs> Anto is back. Don't care. Yeah, apparently this mm -hmm. works. <laughs> <laughs> need another function, Lemos. Which another one? function for what? Type, Type substitution. substitution. Oh, yes, he's, he's right. Wait, why? Wait, why? I'm confused. Like, uh, like think about you. Just what we're doing is just increasing the types, right? Like as you, as you go. But you need to actually do the same thing as we do with substitution. Like a whole expression, you need to. I shrink it down to to some other expression. But we didn't do that in the previous type that previous thing spoon. Uh, we didn't. That's a that's a good point actually. We didn't. Just we didn't like. replace anything with anything at all. Nathan will say to forget that implementation, but that's wrong. The idea of stuff type checking is there. We should not. Uh, remove it. Uh, it takes an expression and label and a type. It will go on the expression and for every type variable with the given label it will change for the given type. Where and when do we need that? I'm so surprised this worked. I'm so surprised. For the comparison, the type application, anyhow. Let's do the following. We already passed through the two hour mark here. We did a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Maybe we did like multiple sessions in two hours. What? Oh, wait, man. What? Oh, and I should also try the T arrow, the T, the T, the for all. For all. Oh, fun. Okay. For all. Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, what happened? Um, I'm, I'm just suggesting to us to finish for today because we already passed the two hour mark. Oh, let, let me see what we have. Let me let me just see what Nathan said. Takes an expression. Oh, okay, the substitution takes an expression and label any type. It will go on to the expression, and for every oh. type variable with a given label, I would change for the given type, not for system f for the comparison, or at least it, or at least is easier that way. But if we need on the type application anyhow wait wait what i think the hack didn't work let me see because i'm using t1 being a t4 all with b and t unit and t2 which is an a with t unit and my implementation is saying to ignore the, the text and just go for the type uh -huh. and then you do this and if the answer is false, which necessarily needs to mean oh, right. yeah. the, the text is account. kidding. You gotta be kidding. Oh man, wait, what? Pack. Rick, oh, it's hanging forever. <laughs> Yeah, so it doesn't work. It doesn't. It does not does not know how to t to compare this. 
It type checks, but it doesn't allow, it doesn't evaluate properly. That's very unexpected. Isn't it because we're replacing the same? Because, well, if it's an infinite recursion, it's like a replacing two string with two string, right? Something like this. No, what I'm doing is, you pick the uh, you pick the first type, which is we are in pattern matching with the, with for all. If it is, you're gonna with just pattern match the type and giving how they should look like, right? Yeah, so this is how how they, sh they they are. This. Oh man, like you're basically doing equality. That's why Okamo has right, like, oh, but uh, like it. Dude, but wait, that is... Yeah, it doesn't know! Man, like, it doesn't know! <laughs> go, go back there. Like, how does that work? Like, you have two expressions, right? So, the equal equal and then the equal equal on the right, right? Yeah, this equal equal is the equal equal for this guy. Mm -hmm. So... What I'm saying is, dude, if you ever uh, find a T for all on the left and a T for all on the right, how are you going to compare them? How is the implementation of the equal equal for this guy? It's simple. You're going to just extract the type inside the, the for all, right? Mm -hmm. And you're going to apply another equal on them. Yeah. And that's it. And if they are not... Uh, for alls at all, you're gonna just that, that. That's what I said. I was surprised because for me, this is like, oh, if you have a type in a type, the it, to do equality is just equality. Like, does that that doesn't make any sense? Uh, big brain, <laughs> the equality of T1 and the equality of T2 is yeah. simple, it's just equality. <laughs> And <laughs> then you invoke the same thing. <laughs> awesome. Oh, no. Uh, this is a. I'm not expecting, expecting this to work, but who knows? Yeah. Wait, what did you do there? Yeah, because it sometimes Haskell changes its behavior. It's, but I'm oh, not deriving. I'm not deriving. Because it's lazy, I guess, right? No, not because it's la lazy necessarily, but because you can change the behavior. Like, let's suppose that we were deriving. Hmm. We were deriving equality, right? Or I don't know. Okay. Or uh, ORD, which is the one that say that one is greater than the other. The order that these guys appear here, if you are deriving some stuff, ch it changes the behavior of the deriving process. Mm -hmm. So, for instance, if I added ORD here, the, 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 the maximum would be this. And okay. the minimum would be this. And they are or, or sorted in this manner. So, you can explore this type of stuff when you're deriving stuff. Just like the fixed point definition. Uh, kind of, yeah. Kind of. So, just toil your know, man. Make a case for everything. Yeah, that's the thing. I... That seems like something that the, the language has support to, so I'm going to ask tomorrow my boss about it. And let's finish recording.